Hello guys and welcome to another quick tips video. Today we're talking about rigging your lighting fixtures. When rigging or hanging your lighting fixtures, it's important you not only do it properly, but safely. So in this video, we're gonna talk about everything T-bars and truss. So tip number one, it's very easy for someone to trip over your tripod in the dark, particularly if it's pointing out towards the audience. One way you can try and prevent this is using colored electrical tape or fluorescent hazard tape and wrap it around the legs of your tripod. Now admittedly this isn't the most elegant way, however it is a safe way to be able to be sure that no one's going to trip over your tripod and send your speaker or light stand flying. If you want a much more elegant look you can go for something more like a scrim king which will actually scrim and cover up the front of your tripod and makes it much easier to see exactly where the legs are. Tip number two is to do with rigging your lighting fixtures along your t-bar or truss. Now if you use the same rig every single gig with your lights in the same positions, sometimes when setting up it can take quite a while to work out exactly where each fixture needs to be positioned. So to save time during setting up, what you can do is wrap some electrical tape around your truss at the point where your clamp needs to hook over for each different fixture, and then you can label each bit of tape so when it comes to rigging your lights you can easily see either that's fixture one or that's my pocket spot and easily just hang it straight onto the truss where it needs to go. Not only does this make it a bit faster for you, but if you have an assistant helping you who perhaps doesn't know your equipment quite as well as you do, they can easily work out what needs to go where. If you have a T-bar and you only want to hang a single light from it, you can come up with a much cleaner and neater way of doing it. Instead of rigging the T-bar, replace that with a top hat adapter and rig your fixture upside down bolted onto the top hat. The top hat is an adapter commonly found for rigging speakers onto tripods that don't have speaker mounts underneath. Thread the bolt through the top hat adapter, tighten on your light, and then place that adapter on top of the tripod. And now you can very easily and elegantly rig a single lighting fixture onto a tripod. A much nicer way than rigging it at 90 degrees, which will put a lot of strain on your clamp. Tip number four, don't use cable ties to hang lights. Well, that's kind of obvious, but no, in all seriousness, you really need to take safety as a priority when it comes to rigging your lighting fixtures because what you're doing here is taking very heavy electrical objects and rigging them very high up in the air, oftentimes above members of the audience or guests at your party. The last thing you want to happen is for someone to trip up on a tripod, knock something over, for a light to not be attached properly and perhaps fall down and accidentally hit or injure one of your guests at the party. Now the correct way to rig your lighting fixtures is with two points of contact. So if one point fails, there is still another point to take the weight. Now in many cases this will be your clamp holding your lighting fixture and then a safety bond to secure it and add an extra point of contact if that clamp were to fail. If you're rigging something much bigger like a centerpiece lighting fixture or a speaker or a really big moving head, you may want to consider adding additional safety bonds so that if that does fail, you've got a little bit of extra security there and the light isn't going to swing down on one point. Just make sure you're using common sense, make sure the load on your truss is spread evenly, you've not got too big a gaps between your stands when you're setting up your truss, and just that you're taking all the safety precautions you can to ensure that nothing is going to go wrong, and if something does go wrong, well it's going to have the minimal impact and cause the least damage. Tip number five is to do with how to set up your tripods correctly, and I've seen a lot of DJs out there who are doing this wrong and not fully extending the legs of their tripods. To set up a tripod correctly, extend the legs until the support braces that hold the legs to the centre column are completely horizontal, and basically creating a triangle between the upright, the support, and the leg. That way your tripod is in its optimum position and can take the largest amount of weight and is also the most stable. I've often seen people who have their tripods much more closed just because they maybe don't have the room. What you're actually doing there is very dangerous because you are decreasing the surface area the tripod has to stay stable so you're going to end up with a much more unstable lighting stand and a greater chance of something falling over. Tripods of course have three legs, the clues in the name, but what I always try and do is not stick a single leg pointing out towards my audience. I rig them so that there's kind of a Y shape pointing out towards the front of the audience so that the longer leg extending backwards that is easier to trip over is on my side of the setup. Basically I'm trying to create a straight edge along the front of the setup so there's nothing for audience members or guests to trip up on. So those are some tips on rigging and setting up your lighting equipment. At the end of the day, you just need to really use common sense and make sure you're not doing anything that is going to put yourself, your crew, or any audience members and guests in any kind of danger and take all the precautions you can to make sure everything is safe. If you have any questions about anything I've talked about, please do leave them in the comments down below. And as always, thanks for watching. 